As a cancer researcher, I often feel very frustrated um, that we, as a research community, and indeed as a health professional community, we are not very good at making our views and evidence, um, not very good at communicating that to the wider world. Um, and indeed, I have a frustration that um, so few people know the really quite strong evidence relating to lifestyle. And also, I get very frustrated with people who think that lifestyle change is a very burdensome thing to do. It's so boring, it's terrible. Um, as a nutritionist, I'm fascinated by food. Um, I love food, love healthy food, love creating things, love all sorts of ideas and, around food. And it really doesn't have to be boring at all. And so, um, about eight years ago, we held a cancer prevention conference in Scotland, which was funded by the Scottish Cancer Foundation charity. And people in the room felt likewise, that they would like to come together and be advocates for um, cancer prevention and indeed cancer screening for early detection. And so we set up something called the Scottish Cancer Prevention Network, which is funded by the Scottish Cancer Foundation. Um, we're an advocacy group. Um, we disseminate information about lifestyle, but not just about lifestyle, but about how to change lifestyle, um, about policies across the world that are exemplar in trying to make the changes. So, for example, with relation to obesity, it's fantastic to see the number of countries that have introduced sugar tax, as an example, or um, for workplaces that have done some really interesting things getting their workforce active and things that are fun and interesting that we want, want to hear about. So we produce a free um, quarterly newsletter, SCP newsletter, which is an e-newsletter, which anybody is welcome to sign up for. We have people from across the world, so it's not uniquely in Scotland, um, but we are trying very hard to engage Scots who do not have a good uh, uh, track record with, with lifestyle. Uh, we do an annual conference and we always get our um, health minister to come and address that and that is on or the, near, the day nearest to World Cancer Day which is February the 4th. We do a lot of social media so on Twitter we are the SCPN. We blog, um, we try and get students involved so we've got a student chapter, we offer prizes for elective um, uh, for medical students and we have an art prize for art and design students who can create um, an innovative communication around um, uh, around lifestyle factors. So it's, it's doing things that are fun, that are interesting and getting a movement that says yeah lifestyles actually can be can be can be fun and the evidence and the science supports it.